I am Sir Tap Tap, and we are going to go into what one might say is a power plant. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Also, I, I'd like to reiterate, I think it's really cool that there's, in fact, like, the option to just... I think you can totally... Let me... Let me look at the exact options. Uh, speedrun options. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, you can skip, like, a lot... Fast dialogue, skip to... Press down to fall off wall. That's cool. Low movement. Yeah, th there's a lot of really cool... Wait, pass through gate. Rectangular gates and power plants become pass through. But, oop. No, no, how do I... Ah, this game has weird button mapping. Uh, A button cancel. Oh, yeah, A button is cancel. That's... That is a new one. Yeah, whatever. Um, I guess it's the same orientation as. Oh, I need to get. I need to go up, don't I? Oh wait, what? Oh right! Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. You're heavier when you're purple, and you're lighter when you're. Oh, I was not expecting it to use it like that. Wait. heavier when you're oh, wait no it's horizontal movement is faster when you're yeah that that's what it is vertical movement when you're when you're green horizontal movements so you just you just move faster you're not heavier you just but you do resist the wind effects that's what it that's why it confused me we gotta go up But yeah, what, what I was trying to say there was, um, I, I really enjoy that the, uh, oh, let's eat some of those. Um, the accessibility options, and you can sort of, you can skip, you can set things up to skip a lot faster if you're only, you know, playing for the gameplay bits. But, uh, I really like both elements. I really like the, the narrative we got going on. We got some really interesting characters, even if they're, your, uh, you know, side characters, but, uh, they still tell a good little story. Sometimes, sometimes side characters can be sort of... No, not like the main draw, but they can be really memorable. All right, Oop. especially when they talk like this. All right. This one doesn't seem as dangerous compared to the other ones, like. It's just win- I guess it's because the gimmick isn't really very dangerous, though nothing's really been, like, super deadly, it's just, you know, it's more of a how fast can you go thing than, you know, deathly danger sort of thing. Which, sometimes that's fun too, you know. I don't know, the, the reason I started playing this tonight, you know, I wanted to test the mod mic, I wanted to test, um, I wanted to sort of get back into the feeling of things, and I didn't want to do uh, a new game, I didn't want to do something that was, you know, that might be, you know, difficult or that might be, um, you know, tense. I, I just wanted to do something that I could reliably enjoy that I could, uh-oh. That I could, uh, oh, I could, I guess I could have, like, stopped shielding myself there and I would have been fine. Whatever, we're still good anyway. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Oh, no! Splart! <laughs> like how you just turn into your shield there. Alright, we're back. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, it does make a more pronounced effect on your movement than I thought then. Yeah, it'll be easier to have some verticality power. Oh. Oh, that's just... But, yep. Catch... It catch... Oh, no, I'm super... It catches the wind, which lets you float up. So probably, I probably should have aimed my shield away. Wait, can you move forward with your shield aimed away though? Oh, yeah you can, okay. I wasn't thinking about that earlier. Oh, oh, we're already at to this point? Okay. 
This one, this one felt easy. Wasn't this one supposed to be one of the harder ones? Oh wait, no, never mind. That's not the thing that happens at the end of these. That's just a normal thing. I thought that was the, one of those things we had to carry it around. Um, the key sort of deals. That, n never mind. Good old tap taps just having, you know, brain stupidity. I'd forgotten that these were you know, just kind of normal mechanic, not, uh... There is a thing once we reach the chamber, the, like, core room. There'll be those big keys that we have to carry around. I like the little, um... Whatchamacallit. Um... Our little... Shadow self. Um... There we go. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I just got reminded of um, Legend of Mana. I'm not entirely sure why. I just had that thought. That, that was a great game. It was a very confusing and... Um, and unfortunately, if you're a completionist, like I, I think a lot of people that play RPGs are, it, it's kind of a nightmare because it's um, there's so much you can do wrong. But it's really interesting, and at the time it was super innovative. It's kind of like... It's not procedural, but there's like insane amounts of potential branches. It's a really interesting game. Um, I should play that or stream it sometime. It would be something that would be hard to do, like a little... Like a let's play of. I think I would have to stream it, because you know, that, that's how I prefer to do long games. Because uh, I feel... I feel with chat, there's, there's more things I can talk about. Like... So let's play. I want to stay kind of focused, and I want to be fairly short. Uh oh. Oh no! I guess you stay alive for a little bit after you absorb the last bit. All right. That'll show me. I was talking about this being a bit easier than the other ones, and now I'm dying. I don't think I. When was the last time I died? I think I died for some stupid reason before, but uh... oh well, we're we're fine. Even when I'm dying, I'm, I'm th this is not a frustrating game, and I'm, I'm glad for that, you know. Sometimes a game can be too easy, but, um... I'm mostly enjoying, you know, th th this so... Uh-oh. Oh. I figured that would kill me instantly. Yeah, you know, I'm here for, you know, it's, it's a chill game, it's got nice characters, I want to see the story. Um... It's just a nice relaxing game, and sometimes you want that. When when I don't want a relaxing game, I'll probably play Bunny Must Die. All right. Oh wait. All right, that works. That's, I was gonna try to go around the top, but what else? Whatever, bro. <laughs> uh oh. All right. There you go. What? There you go. Not sure what was going on there. Alright. Is this the core? Um... No! Come on! Oops. Ah, frick. Yeah, the poor Mana series, I, I do kind of, you know, agree with the general sentiment that the series has gone downhill since Secret of Mana, but I don't think that Legend was a bad entry. I think Legend was really good. I, don't, I mean, it's not really that Legend or that Legend of Mana is considered bad, it's just people don't really talk about it too much, but I think it's really great. It, it's definitely, it, bu it bugs me with, you know, it's you know, the inability to, you know, have 100%, but, I mean, it's possible, but it, it's still really interesting world, and uh, it feels, you have a lot of freedom, and it's really interesting, and um, it has a sort of, it has that classic mana, real-time, you know, uh, action combat, and uh, it worked really well. Anyway, Erg. Hey, Paxton. Paxton, is that you? Oh, it's you. Just a momentary hiccup. Carry on. 
Uh, here, I think I can open that door for you. What's up, Paxty? Well, thanks for the effort. Even though I was just get, about to get out on my own. Why are there where are there all these doors that are completely impossible to get out of? You know, you could have gone and helped Lopez first. I'm sure she's in some actual dire straits. The danger's ramped up to this level at every plant. I actually went there first. Lopez was a bit of a bind, but she's okay now. Well, aren't you just the star of the show, swooping in to save us both back to back? No wonder you're the mayor's right-hand man. I literally just saved your life. You gargantuan asshole. Er, woman. What? Oh, please, don't play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This guy's Paxto West from that um, strong bad email. Well, I bet he, I bet he thought it looked good being chums with you. What with people complaining he's out of touch. Look good? Are you just now noticing that you're a total pawn? Oh no. Oh honey. Hey, I'm not saying you're a bad technician, but I think we both know there's some kind of affirmative action PR stunt going on here. That photo of you and Biggs is plastered all over the place. I ah, forget it. Let's just finish up this plant and get out of here. Sure. I don't think that's what affirmative action means. I saved everyone's lives? Oh, whatever. He's just an asshole. This is what I was talking about earlier. The little... The, 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 the things. With the things. You know the kind. Yeah. These things. I forget what the... I forget what these even, like, are exactly. But, you know, they're, they're keys. That's what's important. I think there's some kind of, like, reactor lens things. Oh, wait. A vertical crystal lens to the receptor. Yes, that's, that's what I meant. Thank you, Aleph. Go up. Up! Played myself. Okay, yeah, you can run faster if you don't have your shield down. Okay, I should have realized that, but you know. Whatever. Physics. Who needs them? I know I don't. Alright, just one more, probably. Who's... How did this storyteller lady manage to get, like, every single place in the world to build 50 statues of her? Like, dang, son. Eh. Wait, what? <gasps> no! Okay. 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 Wait. Why does holding my shield up have... Oh, I guess it would still catch air, wouldn't it? I'm, I'm just stupid. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Why was I holding down, then? Oh, whatever. Who cares? Physics. Who needs them? Where I come from, we don't believe in no physics. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got six of the thingies now. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. I wonder how many things there are total. This is the horizontal one, okay. Easy enough. Which one was this one? I think it was this one, right? Yeah, it was a horizontal, okay. Or vertical. It was either the thing I said or the exact opposite. One or the other. Who knows? Stakes are made. Alright. Now we can get, we can blow this popsicle stand and see what happens after we solve the first three things. I'm assuming we're like halfway through the game. Last thing to do is adjust some console parameters. Oh, right. The uh, little mirror thingy. Wait, oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Extremely difficult. Whiteforge, this is Aleph. Cheers, Aleph. What a great job again. 
Pax and I have fixed up the plant together. I'm coming back now. Great, great. See you soon. Well, time to head home. Don't you just want to punch that guy in the face? Having finished her repairs, Aleph made her way to the power plant, setting out on her return to White Forge City. World map music. What dire music, by the way. Oh, now it cheers up a bit. But it's still very, like... It starts out very, like, we're all doomed. See, that, that face! Actually, all three of these faces are fairly punchable, but mostly the middle one. Mostly. Well, we're back. What's the plan? How do we deal with these new threats? Excellent work, Aleph, yet again! I'm just glad everyone made it back safely. Haven't I said that at the same time, like, three times? I'm not sure we should be going into any more plants alone at this point. Our plan was logical. Spreading our resources should have made, allowed us to maintain our power plants in a fraction of the time. The flaw was in the execution. Now the... Gino? Gome? Geomes? What, what, what are these? Since, since when are these a thing? Geomi? Geomes? Of the upper hand, then once again we've been put on the defensive. Geomes? Upper hand? What did I miss? As initial observation would suggest, we have confirmed that the large creatures in question consist of a heretofore unheard of mix of animal, vegetable, and mineral materials. We're calling them, we're calling them geomes, because they appear to be three distinct geomes we know of, each made of a different mix of stuff. The walking earth geome, flying air geome, and the swimming sea geome. Are these legendary Pokemon? Are these... Is this the new Reggie trio? Like, Reggie ground, Reggie flying, and Reggie water? I don't understand. Did you determine their makeup from the carcass sample I brought back? What do the carcasses have to do with the geomes? The geomes have been attacking with spore-like offshoots, small creatures formed from their minerals, which float off and disrupt energy patterns in a power plant. The carcasses you saw were the remains of those spores. There are several ways, uh, several steps we are taking to prevent further damages. Firstly, we will be installing anti-geome therapy. Weaponry. Anti-geome therapy. Around the heart of Whiteforge. I'm sorry, you can probably hear me drinking with the new mic, can't you? That there's pluses and minuses to being to the mic being attached to my face, basically, because no matter when I move around, my voice won't change, I don't think. But that also means I can't, you know, lean away from the mic. Yeah, I lean away from the mic to breathe. Um, classic meme. In the case of the geomes decide to attack here, we have also instructed contacts of the power plants to work for the geomes. We are caught off guard during the first wave of attacks. Not communication was severely lacking. Whoever, whatever, is behind these terrorist attacks, we won't let them get away with it. They've bitten off more than they can chew. Didn't you literally just say it was a bunch of giant frickin' monsters? I don't think that qualifies as a terrorist attack. Why is everyone around me stupid? Okay, that sounds good. What, what do you really, what do you mean? What do you mean, Aleph, no. I thought you had a brain. Wait, what do you mean by them having the upper hand? Yes, you said we were on the defenses. When did you get here? Are you, are you allowed to hear about the freaking giant, like, space monsters that are, like, eating our power plants? Well, as I have just said, we instructed our contacts to watch for the geomes. And while you are gone, three more plants reported distant geome sightings. It appears that the enemy is planning a second wave of assault. Yes, and we're gonna need you to go fight them off! What? You want us to fight the geomes? But how? We're just technicians, asshole! Aren't these creatures huge like a building? What could we possibly do to stop them? Aw, oh, don't get your respected panties in a bunch. I'm sure there's a plan. There is. We currently do not have any heavy weaponry installed at the outer plants. In order to attack the geomes, we need you to redirect the power plant exhaust vents to concentrate in a specific point near each geome. The combined energy discharge should unbalance geomes' energy al alignment and drives them away from the plants. Get to the central control room and I'll guide you through the process from there. While the power plants are mostly functional, there are some repairs you need to be to be okay. Okay, travel each plant, central control room, just vents. That seems surprisingly doable. 
I'm sure they won't move or like eat my entire family while I'm, you know, dicking around out there. Of course it's doable. We've been able to meet every challenge so far. We'll be going together, right? Of course not. You and Lopez should stick together. I can handle one on my own. No, Paxson, it's too dangerous. Won't be dangerous at all if I get there before the Geome does. The best chance we have to beat the Geomes is splitting up. Aw, oh, that's a good idea. Always split up. That never ends badly. I agree with Lopez. None of us should be going alone. It's settled then. You'll all go together. You've got to be kidding me. Pax, don't remember what happened last time we all went alone? One of us were to get trapped while the Geome was attacking? Fine, fine. Let's get on with it already. Where are we headed, oh magnanimous leader? Hastings, the map. Our world is a giant Pokeball. This is Riverton, a rustic small village along the banks of our river. Great fun to visit with the family. Aw, oh, we're going to Snow Place first. This is Oscar Basin, a town within a snowy forest valley run by Chairman. Uh, what's his name? Darble Nail? Ooh, the Marsh Place. And lastly, Magdal Woods, a misty little peach patch of woods. With not much to do. A bit boring, but we still have a power plant in danger, nonetheless. Luckily, well, it sounds like a freaking, like, tour salesman. Anyway, all the plants put in reports at similar times, so it's up to you. What you want to tackle first? What's your decision? Uh, definitely the snow place. That sounds way cooler. Chairman, uh, Nardle Kale sure has put a bunch of effort to bring that settlement up to stuff. Be sure to pack a jacket, though. Oh, yes. Be sure to take this map with you. Not that I expect you to get lost, of course. I do expect you to get lost. Alf received a second map of the White Forge continent. Right, so in that case, it's settled then. You can all leave tomorrow. Why do we have multiple maps? Whatever. It's the lobby of the lighthouse. History wing. Oh yes, can't go in. Ah! Oh, why must you tease me? I don't have a point with the mayor right now. Whatever, man. Well, speak up. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Hmm. Do you mean what am I doing while I'm here? I am standing. His name is Hummus. Getting in trouble is exactly what I would expect someone named Hummus to do. If you mean why I'm in this place, regardless of what I'm doing, I have no simple reason related to my personal agency. Many complex factors have led to me standing in this particular place at this particular time. You're gonna get your ass beat, son. But I believe that you would find these factors being personal and emotional and thus uninteresting. Hey, stop batting gibberish. Get a job, you bum. I don't have time for this. <laughs> he just disappeared from existence. He literally did not have time and just expired. Oh, good day. The localized temperature is average for this reason. Either extremely hard and extremely low. We fellow creatures find this pleasant. I like this guy. Uh, yes, indeed. I'm Aleph. Are uh, you new around here? Hello, yes. I'm the human. I am the very human. I do the human things. Yes, hi. Ah, your name is Aleph. My name is a word used to identify my body and personality contrast to others of the same category. Interesting sentiments. Well, you may call me Humus. Or human, yes. I'm very human. I, how do you do, my fellow humans? In answer to your question, I come to this location only recently. Oh, so you're a new resident of White Forge? So am I. I moved here from, uh, Fay Rouge area just recently. Where are you from? Where am I from? Well, the assemblage of matter and energy that currently constitutes my body is passed through virtually countless locations. That's, uh, poetic. It's nice to meet you, Hamas. Let me know if there's anything you need. I live in Murex Park, though I'm usually traveling for work. Thank you for your consideration, Arif. So is this, like, secretly God or something? Hey, buddy. I can't believe the things you see these days. Panhandlers and Aplex Plaza. Tell me about it, Maud. This city's gone to gutter ever since Mayor Briggs started to bend to the whims of an extremist minority. Mm -hmm. So I need a key card access to get in there. What's going on? I guess you just get this cutscene if you don't have access. I made coffee, but it's too bitter. Woe is me. Station, blah blah blah. Windstruck Towers. Unavailable. Uh, 
Um, guess we're going home. I always think that's like a warning siren or something, like we're all gonna die. One of the ground lines. Uh, wait. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go home or just go straight to the thing, but I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, hey, lady. I forget your name. This music got foreboding. Was that was this foreboding? Hey. Hey. <laughs> She's always sitting in that same position. <laughs> I'm trying not cast any slow cooker, so I won't be able to burn anything. That's good. That's good. I've seen her cook, cook so many times before that I thought I could just wing it. She was the cutest, bustling around in her apron and talking to me. It's a specific kind of talking, your mind is half occupied with another task, and you just gotta blab unconsciously to someone you love. It's sort of like let's playing. Except for the love part. Harsh! Anyway, she was the cutest. That's a good memory. It's funny for me to remember as Cassidy is cute, though. She always struck me as hard-nosed or gruff. Not in a bad way, just... I know what you mean. I think everyone needs to be cute in some time in some way. To embody cuteness with someone is to be vulnerable. To ask them to love you in a way so simple and safe. Sometimes people can't afford to be cute. In a world, is not a safe place for the vulnerability, but I'm glad Cassidy could be that with me. Yes, cuteness is very important. I agree. What a whirlwind of events. Not that I thought the early creature sightings were lies, necessarily, but getting confirmation of the existence of the geomes. Isn't that what- oh no, it was gonomes. Those are the things in uh, Opposing Force. Great game, by the way. If you've never played Opposing Force, uh, it's not canon with Half-Life, but um, very good game. And it's written in a way that like is believable that it could be um, canon. Not that, you know, too many major events happen. I guess the alien species that they introduce are kind of problematic. Which, I mean... I guess that's the one reason you would say it isn't canon, because of all the other the stuff they added. But, uh, it's all a fun game. Still can't quite believe that we, as little... A few little technicians are supposed to go head-to-head -head with these things, but I guess there's nothing this job has gone exactly as I was expecting. At least we all agreed to go together this time. I'm sure that won't go wrong. Sure, everything's gonna be fine. Act two complete! Act three. Not sure how many acts there are. Defense against the geomes. Oh, my voice cannot go high as high as I was needing to go there. Never mind. Okay. Time to meet with Lil Pegasus and Paxton at the front gate. It's my home. It sure is, buddy. Alrighty, that is even the ocean for today.